What are the temptations of a business as personal as a wedding planning business or really any service business where you're dealing with someone uh, that, you, that you want to like, you want to do the very best because you want this person or this couple to succeed. The temptation is to get so involved personally that you're available 24-7, you go way out of the way. This is frankly a minefield that women are more likely to fall into than men, again, because we so value personal relationships. It's a, a, a sense of having no boundaries. It's, it's uh, a problem for you in terms of your other commitments. It's not mistaking them for friends or family, but remembering that this is a, a professional relationship. It's your business, but still, consistency is important and maintaining your own boundaries is really critical. Any small business has its ups and downs and its, its, its heavy business periods and its slow points. What else can you do or what skills that you use for this business are easily transferred? You don't have to put all of your eggs in one basket, particularly in this economy. All of these are the ingredients of marketing. And these require creative skills that you probably don't have. I would urge you to find someone with professional expertise in marketing, advertising, graphics, copywriting. There are small web design businesses who can give you excellent advice, do the technical piece of it, help you with the images, and make sure that the materials that you produce in fact communicate who you are, what you do, and persuade people to come to you. But the problem is you need to know exactly what they can do. Show me. Show me some examples. Show me what you have done. Give me the names of some of your clients so that I can call them. Is there an attitude of giving your very best to every client. It is important that a name is attention getting somewhat different and in some way connotes the business that you're in. My very first business was called The Campaign Works, but it also connoted that I had all of the workings of a political campaign and not only political, because then in the off years when I wanted to work with a nonprofit organization on almost anything, could be a campaign, I was covered. It needs to be short. It needs to be in words that, that people understand. Ask some people randomly and see what they think because your, your own feeling about it, particularly if it is your own brainchild, maybe not be the public perspective. One of the critical elements of the campaign plan for any business is market research. But think about it in terms of your wedding planning business. How are you going to know what people out there want in a wedding planner? One suggestion that I have would be to go to a, a local college, a community college, go to a, a, a class in marketing or advertising or political science or sociology. They can help you model a survey and perhaps develop a survey questionnaire. If you do it yourself, you're not going to get the statistical validity that you would if you hired one of the major polling firms in the country. But you don't really need that kind of accuracy for starting a wedding planning business in your community. Have you ever been married? Have you ever planned a wedding? You might want to screen for people who have in fact had weddings. What was the best part? What, what didn't you like? If you had it to do over again, what would you have changed? You're borrowing people's ideas and most people are willing to participate in that kind of a group. As I said, even for the food. Researching your, your opposition, your, your competitive wedding planners, is another big piece of the market research that you need to do at the beginning. So the question is, how are you going to be able to find out 
how they approach their business. When you start this kind of a business, you need to determine at the beginning really what your ethical framework is. These are the things that we are not willing to do. These are the things that we absolutely will do. And maybe identify the gray areas. I like to say that we may all have different positions, different opinions, different ethnicities, different religions, different value frameworks, but I don't know that I've ever been in a situation where I couldn't find a common interest. This takes practice, but you have to do it. You have to be able to close the sale. This is a great yeah. wedding to be a kid. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. So I think those benches up there are going to be perfect for that. Right Great. Now. Okay. So, so I have, that's I have good. two of the easels in our okay. car just to, if we want to see where they go sure. out, I brought them just in case. That's great. So, and then, and, um, and so then I the would, other, we can just use the benches. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs>